HQ main event massacre two king of the dot Pat Stay versus Hollow the Don um, first round um, Hollow went first saying some uh, some wonder about certain shit I'm just wondering how I free owed you in a one round battle referring to the battle of the brave thing um, very very funny bar to open with got a really good reaction from the crowd. I'm rolling up with my shoulder bumps just to see what your mana do. Holler then went on uh, Organic and Nakai and, uh, and the Pat saying um, I die for my respect. I'm talking all three of y'all. Like, I think that was referring to um, Birdman I think. I could be wrong but that's what I took from it. Um, two gats blowing, bow bow, look like I'm backstroking, that was hard uh, but he'd actually done the actions for it as well so it's better when you see the battle it hits harder, you have to see the visual for it um, he said you had the nerve to say I wasn't with Mike Zombie, well I was with Mike Zombie and Mike was at the event, he, like literally stood behind Hollow, like he, he went with him um, exposed Pat about their battle with a brave saying Pat was backstage panicking um, about not being paid and Hollow was saying he had shit planned out um, that he had stacks in personal accounts that his f would go to his family if they both died on the, the plane flight uh, the, uh, the plane flight back to America so um, and he was like that's what the difference is um, And then he says they would have had to have a GoFundMe page to put this bitch in a ditch and shit. Like just the way he delivered all that, it was really hard. Um, Hollow was doing some dancing on the stage as well, like for one of his bars. Um, I thought it was a bit silly to be honest, but it kind of for performance-wise, it definitely went down well. Um, but and just delivered it well as well. So, um, so before Pat starts, um, the mic and his battery died again keep coming back to audio issues and, and mic issues for the whole event um, that killed the momentum of the battle because obviously he didn't even get to start straight away um, when he did he, he was going at Hollow's moustache which was kind of corny um, just trying to be funny against like his looks you can't see me like a heart tattoo on a black dude thought that was really funny um, Pat had a lot of energy um, but you sober now, right? You can act clean if you want, but you can't spell without. You can't spell clean without putting. C at the front. Um, obviously, once you watch that, you will definitely see how hard that hit. So I thought that was a fire bar. But for me, in that round, he he just didn't have enough as much as Hollow did. Um, so I'll give the first to Hollow. Second round. Hollow says, your best bars in the last was trying to play my stash. Ha ha! He'd done that, and then he was like, Jada laugh. Um, that was really hard, got the crowd going. Um, Hollow had an angle about Pat's nervousness on stage, about how he bites his lip. Um, said that he was in like Oliver or something, and uh, he also said he, he, I'll say it, it's just, It'll still be a tie if he wins or not. Like a nice bit of wordplay in there. You in denial about my banks? Well, damn, I flow fluid. I'll have them dispatch units like. They'll be like, Ksh, there's only one dead, but there was a mass shooting. That was really hard. Um, exposing Pat just for like staying. Uh, for saying that he he paid Shuffle and Marlow for the compliment battle he had against Roan. Um, yeah, and just exposing him on that. Uh, and he says he walks around the hood like He-Man, holding two guns at once, even though he could have put them in each hand. That, that got a lot of reaction. Um, just funny just funny stuff from Hollow. Um, funny uh, follow-up bar as well, going on from that last bar, about Pat holding a gun in a police stance. The end of Hollow's second was weird as well, like he let... Pat think he'd finished and walked away and then just as Pat was starting to go he come back up in his face and sprayed like about three or four more bars and then ended it um, so yeah it was it was only a few seconds 
added on, but it, I felt like you could see it pissed Pat off a bit. And Pat's complaining about the time as well, so he wanted to get going. So it definitely worked to get under his skin a little bit. Um, Pat had a nice angle on racism, I felt. I ain't, um, another buy's got, I ain't racist, nah, but my shank is, because the blade tip's brown from all the dried up blood that it's stained with. Get hit in the jaw, your chin would just fall like a ventriloquist doll. He was uh, taking a piss out of uh, some of Hollow's worst bars that he's done um, from other battles. Um, there was one about peanut butter, it was pretty funny. Um, just kind of, and then he did his own one just to show how easy it is to like think of a shit bar to do. Um, Pat was impersonating Hollow's facial expressions. Um, it was quite funny. He had a few stumbles in it though, Pat in a second. Nothing major, but you could tell he had a few stumbles. Um, he got to know my hand so well I could read my he said I could he could read my palm he said um, smacked him so hard I became a believer because my palm was red that was that was very clever done um, I, I'm gonna be honest man uh, this battle is one of the hardest battles I've found hardest to call in a long time um, the first I thought was clear for hollow second so like there's not anything in there to choose from like difference like it's so close um, when I first had all the notes down I was gonna give it to Pat but the fact that Pat stumbled a little bit I'm thinking maybe give the second to Hollow, but as I said, this is kind of one of them battles where on another day I come back to it and it could be the other person I thought's won. So to be honest, I'm not mad. Like it could have been two one either way. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go with Hollow for the second um, round three. Hollow said, "Pat this Drake for buying a purse." Um, was dogging on Pat saying Pat was salty for Drake because apparently Drake owed him money that he didn't pay him um, talking about his time in prison Hollow's time in prison talking about corrupt police and imprisonment to fit to fund the, to fund themselves um, Hollow actors as an interviewer as well in the battle we got some person from the crowd come up to on the stage with a camera um, and he had a microphone and he kind of interviewed Pat saying um, Mr. Stay, could you define real and and stay responded with like a stupid sort of voice thing, and uh, and Hollow rebutted straight away saying, "Are oh, you trying to be funny? You lying still?" That got a really good reaction, like just on the spot, like it was spot on from Hollow. Um, he said one last question before we all go: How does it feel being the first battle rapper to get four nilled? That was quite funny. Um, and that was another bar that you could see Pat was getting a bit pissed off with. Um, then Pat went. Uh, Pat said he felt so proud of Hollow when he battled Joe Budden and represented the culture. And how it meant to uh, have loyalty over money in battle rap. And then he goes on to say how the Battle of the Brave event was basically Hollow's show. And he promised the promoters of the of that event that he, like money and they never got the money he promised them um, so he was kind of saying that it's just, he was just as bad as the mainstream musicians are kind of like Joe Budden was on that um, Total Slaughter stuff because of how he was acting on stage and that and just in it for the money so I thought that was a clever angle to take from Pat um, Again, it's really hard to decide. I don't feel like it's a three nil, so I'd probably give the third to uh, to Pat. But there's there's really little in it. Um, it's definitely a difficult one. Pat also was uh, going in on how money and battle rap is uh, fucking battle wrap up, and how Hollow had certain demands. Um, on events before he decides and puts his name down to battle for events that he needs a certain amount of money to be paid and he kind of rips people off in culture for that um, 
and also what's loyalty over money if your loyalty is overpriced and I just felt like Pat finished strong for for, for the rest of the battle and um, I think that it was Pat's best round out of all three so I'd give the third to Pat so I'll give it 2-1 to Hollow but I'd say on another day when you ask me I could easily give it 2-1 the other way so I think you lot would be really uh, grateful to see this when it comes out it was definitely main event worthy it didn't disappoint um, yeah really close and hard one to call as I said so be interesting to see your thoughts on it and um, I'll be back when I'm back